If you've come across the term cryptocurrency, it's likely you've stumbled upon the big buzzword blockchain and wondered what this means and why everyone is talking about it. Could it be as simple as it sounds, a chain of blocks? Well, actually, yeah, pretty much is exactly that. Let's get straight into it and help make this complex world of blockchain technology as simple as possible. It's important to note before we get started that blockchain isn't specific to Bitcoin. Although Bitcoin was built with blockchain technology, there are many different kinds of blockchains, all with individual purposes and tradable assets or data specific to that blockchain. It goes much further than just financial transactions alone. Imagine the blockchain as a very large global network or marketplace, which allows the exchange of data and digital currencies. There's no intermediary, third party or middleman to authorize these transactions and exchanges. A blockchain cuts out the middleman and allows a buyer and seller or sender and receiver to engage in transactions on their own accord. Using a comparison of traditional methods as an example, if you wanted to send money to somebody else's bank account, the bank would act as the middleman to handle the payment process, often resulting in slow process speed and additional costs. This can also be compared to buying and selling in the marketplace giant Amazon. If you found an item you wanted to purchase on Amazon, such as a shiny new PlayStation 5, Amazon would be the middleman connecting you with the seller. On top of this, the payment to purchase the PlayStation would then be routed to a bank or financial platform, essentially creating multiple hurdles and authorities to bypass before completing a single transaction. A blockchain takes away from the multiple hurdles and connects both sides of the transaction directly with one another, without needing to know the identity or location of each party. You may be wondering, with no central point of authority, how is the blockchain run? Something must be operating it, right? And you would be correct in thinking that a blockchain network is essentially a network powered by computers, referred to as nodes. Instead of leaving one sole entity responsible for the handling and verification of all transactional data on the blockchain, it is instead distributed across the entire network for each node to have the same history of transactions. This allows every node to independently validate the transactions and timestamp them into the database, eradicating the possibility of one single source of power from manipulating or altering the information. This is a common flaw of traditional methods, where the handling of sensitive data left in the hands of one party can often become subject to mishandling, alteration, or even get lost entirely over time. It's also important to note that every event that takes place on the blockchain is called a transaction, regardless of whether or not it is financial in nature. Every transaction contains data showing an event has taken place. In even simpler terms, it is an open and transparent distributed ledger, showcasing all transactions validated by the nodes. The transactions are date stamped and borderline impossible to be changed or altered once validated and recorded into the database. So how is the data stored, you may ask? In a chain of blocks. Essentially, blocks that record a chain of events. Each block contains the data for one event or transaction that has been validated by the nodes, which is then date stamped and secured using an encryption method called cryptography, which converts the data inputted within the block into a string of numerical and alphabetical outputs known as the hash value. Each block contains the hash from the date stamped block before it, which ensures a chain of blocks is created in a secure time stamped manner, hence the name blockchain. The reason blockchains have exploded in popularity is due to the solution they provide in recording events in an irreversible manner, in order as they happen, with more privacy than allowing a single point of authority to handle the process.